Vlogmas day 23. Two more days to Christmas. <gasps> Two days to Christmas, here we go. have been enjoying Vlogmas so far. We're almost We've been having a blast trying new drinks and yeah. just getting to hang out with you guys every day. We always look forward to this Vlogmas time every single year because we just get to hang out with you and we get to talk with you in the comments every day which is so much fun. Yeah, but we're almost done which is kind of sad. We're going to go back to a normal posting know, schedule. Which is still two to three videos a week. Yeah. So you'll see us plenty. You'll see us plenty. And we do hope that you guys will continue commenting because we love getting to hear from you guys mm -hmm. especially when you guys have really fun like creative ways to say like the keyword you guys have been killing the keyword Seriously. game like we just like that's one of my favorite parts of the day is when we could sit down and talk about the keyword and the vlogmas videos and see how you guys like incorporate it into your comments yeah it's, it's awesome. so much fun um so today we actually have two different drinks i think this is the first time we've had different drinks I think so. uh because i don't like tea very much even though I have tried a few kinds throughout this vlogmas season you guys have seen if you missed those go back um, and watch them because they're worth watching because this was a moment in history that Abby was trying tea but on today I just have water because what do we want to have a happy healthy hydrated holiday season <laughs> that's what it is healthy ha he hi ho ha he hi ho hi ho what are we, the dwarves? I am having some water today in this tumbler. It's a plastic tumbler. This was from the parks, I believe, last year, a year before. It's amazing. Um, before. This was like a whole, it was like a mid century modern type vibe. It was very yeah. pop century. Prime time kind um, of very box. pop century vibes. Yeah. Um, but it says, here's some holiday cheers. <laughs> and it's all glitter and it's very fun. And then there's a Mickey so shaped sparkly. ornament on the side. So it's very sparkly. I like the. Um, Bright metallic gold lid. Metallic gold. So it's very shiny and I enjoy it a lot. Yeah, so today I have yet another Starbucks mug. As you guys can tell, I love Starbucks mugs and use them quite often. But this one is actually not a Disney specific one. This is the Florida Starbucks mug, which as we've mentioned prior in Vlogmas, we have lived in Florida our whole lives. Mm -hmm. We were Floridians born and raised. And so we do have kind of a lot of Florida merch around our house. Like Sorry. not intentionally, yeah, I, mean, I feel like. Not this one ton, I did get. Some. Um, because it was at our local Starbucks and I was excited because I hadn't seen it in a really long time so I picked it up but it's super cute yeah it's super cute and I love the colors so here is our Florida mug kind of matches my shirt today which it is does. perfect and it has of course some Florida icons so we have the alligator down here you have the NASA like um, rocket launches as we go across it says the sunshine state and then we have like palm trees and oranges. There's our flag. I'm like not the sure. Oh, Arizona. the NASCAR yeah, like race. Daytona. Daytona, yep. For here we have uh, key lime pie, and then we have some orange blossoms, and then a golf, a little golf course. That's so cute. So that is the Florida Starbucks mug. Obviously, key lime pie is an iconic staple of, course. of the Florida Keys, and then orange blossoms are our staple. Yeah, and I do love that it's like the whole state. Um, it's not like specific. There's actually nothing Disney on here, which yeah. works out because we have plenty of Disney. I books. believe, but I feel like I've seen the Orlando. The Orlando one, one does have Disney. Mm -hmm. Yeah, correct. And it also has like the Orlando Eye and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, but this is like the Florida State one. Let me know down in a comment below one what state you're from, just because yeah. I'm really curious. And it's two crazy. is if you have the Starbucks mug for your state. I always think those are so fun and I love the idea of like getting one from every state that you mm -hmm. go to although we clearly know that we already have a mug problem and I don't need to add a bunch more mugs to my collection but I love the idea if you guys do I'm really curious to hear uh, which ones you have including I mean we have some international friends watching as well so like yeah. I mean I feel like Starbucks has international they mugs do. I've seen of different countries have, so like, for, if yeah, you guys have Britain one for your country Australia. yeah just know that too definitely that's yeah. super fun so the drink that I am trying today I've actually never um had this before specifically but this one 
one is the Twinings Earl Grey Tea. <laughs> and the reason the that I'm trying this is because a lot of you guys recommended and said that Earl Grey is your favorite kind of tea. Um, so I was watching your comments and listening to what you guys said it was your favorite. And so I am going to be trying it today. Now, last time I had Earl Grey, mm -hmm. I have had Earl Grey in the past. Um, last time I tried it, I believe was the tea tour a few years ago because they had like the different types of tea that we could try. Um, and I wasn't a huge fan of it then. Um, so we're going to try it today and see if my opinions have changed. It smells very strong. Yes, it is very strong. I did um, mix it, like concoct it a little bit. I added some honey because a lot of you said that you liked honey in your Earl Grey. And I also added some um, almond milk because I like my um, darker teas creamier. So like Earl Grey's breakfast teas, all that. I like them a little bit like a creamier blend. Um, and I have also had a London Fog before from Starbucks and I really liked it. So I kind of created my own version of like a London Fog here today. So we're gonna nice. see. We're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> Drink your water with me. Okay, so I will, sorry. Alone. You have to cheers me too. Cheers. Don't forget our process here just because you have water. So it's quite interesting. I do think that this um, is definitely a more drinkable version of Earl Grey for me because adding the almond milk and the sweetener and the honey kind of does tone down the flavors a little bit. Um, for me, with Earl Grey, I'm not a huge fan of the aftertaste. Mm. It has a very floral, very vibrant I can aftertaste. Smell it from here. <laughs> and um, to me, I love everything up to that last aftertaste of like the very, very strong floral notes. So that I'm not a huge, huge fan of, which I think is why I like the whole London Fog vibe because it kind of cuts that that mm. aftertaste for me. But I do think that this is a really interesting type of tea and I do like this. So I will continue to drink this cup. Um, so thank you guys for sending in your recommendations. And I do also have, I've made like a little running list of mm. all the teas that you guys suggested that you like. Um, so I might can add some new teas to my uh, cabinet. So thank <laughs> you. Now it is time for our Nativity Advent Calendar. We've only got a few of these left. It's true. Um, so it does go through, I believe it goes through the 20 25th. Mm -hmm. We are on day 23, check. so yes. we only have three days left, including today. There is your packet for today. So we do have all the wise men and we have all their can camels. So we yeah. have Jingle Bell and Rock. They are on their way to the nativity right now. So here is our map. You can see we only have a few oh. black dots left. We're almost there. And here's what it says. Okay. Atop the camels, the three wise men set out to Bethlehem. We did yes. already put we them atop their camels it. because we are we were we're cheaters like that. Uh, <laughs> They're really cute. But I am really curious what this is because it's talking yeah. about the camels. Maybe the it's wise Bethlehem men. in the it. distance again. Perhaps it's like a different, maybe like a different backdrop. Yeah. It is. Oh, this is cool. Look at this oh. one. Oh, I so love it. So it opens it. up like that. Oh, I love it. Guys, Love look it. at this background. So we got a new Bethlehem backdrop. We did have one from before that was further off, more like a traveling desert kind of backdrop. But here is the town of Bethlehem. Gorgeous. Definitely gives me, if you guys have seen the Disney Happy Planner yes. Oasis collection, Definitely. this is what that looks like. So <laughs> that is awesome. It's totally reminding me of that. But I love that we now have a backdrop. I love it from the back too. Turn yeah, so up. here you can see there's like different colors looks going like you're on. on the back side of the mountains. So like there's dunes and mountains in front of you. Yeah. yeah, and then of course there's a dove because... Apparently the doves yes, are running the show. <laughs> you want to put this behind the wise men? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Let's just put Since them we have them out. Let's put them right here. Excuse me, everyone. There we go. I love it. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, I love it. I love it. So since the big like scene is about to happen, we're about to get into Christmas Eve, <gasps> I am going to give you guys a little pan of what we've got so far with our nativity and our wise men. So you can kind of see what we're looking like mm -hmm. with our advent calendar yes. before we get to the end, the big event. And of course, we're gonna show you the whole thing yes, on Christmas absolutely. Day. It'll be super fun. Okay. So we'll put that footage in and then we'll get to our sock advent calendars.
them. <laughs> so today is my last sock day. Oh, this is like sad. This is the sad part of Vlogmas when it's gone. It's awesome happy day. in that the advent calendar made it. It made it pretty much intact this year. This helps because we, we didn't cut all of the doors. Um, True. So we've been trying to keep it somewhat. We've learned. In place. Um, I kind of lost Maleficent store a little bit, but that's okay. So door number 12 is Goofy with his magnifying glass, which we saw on whatever day it was that we got yeah. Goofy socks, um, where he was looking at the map. I'm not sure how to get to this. Let's just, oh, thank you. They're right here in door number two. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I think I know what these are. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> these are so, are so fun. cool. These are It's a Small World socks. At night. Yeah. It's like the evening. Dusk dusk time. So you can see this looks like the um, Disneyland version because it does look like it's outside uh, where Disney World this is under the roof of the building yeah. like you're like the boats are down here right here. Um, so yeah these are super cute though. I love the small world um, facade. These are really cute. Yeah. I like awesome. these lots. These are good socks to end on. And they're great colors too. I, yeah, I just love, love how bright and light they right. are. Blue and awesome. white and gold. Very nice. Very nice. That is it, y'all. We're literally the next time we see you, it's going to be Christmas Eve. Wow. Which is totally crazy. I hope you guys are ready. I'm super excited to celebrate the holiday with all of you guys and with our family. And be sure that you found the keyword somewhere yeah. in this video. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you make sure you can round out that entry. And make sure that you go and check out. We have another video going up yeah. today of some mystery ornaments that we opened from Hallmark. And all of our Hallmark lovers so out fun. there, Disney and Hallmark collide. So much fun. So I will link that in a card and down below as well. And we'll see you tomorrow for Christmas Eve. Happy Christmas.